I am the Franchise King, Joel Labava. Today, I'm going to talk about some do's and don'ts when it comes to looking at franchises to buy. The first do, this is so important, and it's kind of obvious, but a lot of people don't do it first. The first thing you need to do is look into your finances. Take a financial snapshot. Produce a net worth statement. It's not hard if you go to thefranchiseking.com, right on the bottom, there are a few links, including net worth calculator. It's free. I don't keep the information. Just use the calculator and print out your net worth. That way, there's no guessing. You need to know where you're at financially before you start looking at franchises. The second thing, hire experts. Don't be cheap. Hire a franchise lawyer before you sign a franchise contract. This is so important. I don't care if the salesperson or the franchise co consultant says that, you know, I mean, you can pay for a franchise attorney if you want, but nothing's negotiable. I don't care what they say because you never know. A good franchise attorney may be able to negotiate better terms for you. You never know. Don't expect it. Don't anticipate it. But you never know. So hire a franchise attorney. Hire a certified public accountant, a CPA who is familiar with small business accounting practices. Very important. And another thing you may want to do, now you should do, is hire a franchise ownership advisor. <clears throat> um, hire someone who knows franchising, who will be as unbiased as humanly possible, who doesn't receive um, a rather fat commission from the franchisors for matching you to their franchise, okay? Um, hire professionals. A couple of don'ts. Do not get sucked in by decades old franchise marketing language like a turnkey franchise opportunity. Look at our turnkey opportunity. There's no such thing as a turnkey opportunity. There is hard work involved and everything is not going to be all set up for you. You need to do some of the setup yourself. Uh, you'll see what I mean when you talk to franchisees. Um, don't don't get sucked in by by that term or uh, other things um, that you may hear, like franchising is safer than an independent business, because that is not necessarily true. All right. So don't get sucked up in by some of the language you see on some franchise websites that shouldn't even be there. The second thing is don't listen to well-meaning friends and relatives who are all of a sudden Franchise experts. Why would you want to buy a franchise, for instance? Uh, why would you want to buy a franchise? The franchise companies make all the money, for instance. You don't want to buy a franchise. They just they just suck the money out of you. They use you. Uh, you know, franchising is old. You don't want to really do that. You have no control. And please don't listen to well-meaning friends and relatives who may or may not have your best interests in mind. Think about that one, all right? Um, you know who you want to talk to when it comes to what franchising is really like? People that are doing it, franchisees. Uh, this isn't rocket science, okay? If you want to listen to a few friends, maybe get their opinions, it's okay, but put them on a shelf and get the facts yourself, all right? Those are some do's and don'ts. There's a link below with an entire article about complete do's and don'ts when it comes to buying a franchise. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe as always so you get fresh updates as I hit the publish button. Thanks for watching. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava.